see the start of the new season more clearly with sports eyewear from Norval Opticians. You got your first 17 minutes for Gloucester on Saturday. I suppose really mixed emotions. Glad to be out there, but um, not the result you'd have wanted. Yeah, no, it was actually really good to get the the body out there after a, a couple of couple of months and a couple of weeks into uh, heavy training sessions back here in Gloucester. Um, you know, it's, the result didn't really go the way that we wanted to, but uh, apart from that, we we got had a lot of positives come out of that game, and I think going into this week with the European Cup, you know, we got a lot to to, to to prove, and also the positives that we had from those games. You know, people always say, you know, we've the draw was we pretty much lost the game, but we didn't. We actually had a lot of positives come out of that, and we can take that into this uh, this coming weekend. Yeah. Is it easy to take the positives after a result of that? You, you, know, you can still sort of differentiate the good from the bad. Oh yeah, you can, it's tough because you know there's when you come to a game where you actually have a draw, people tend to uh, pick at all the negatives that happen in the game. But I guess going into this game coming up, you know that we had a lot of positives, and then that we can work on um, during the week and boys can refocus in and it actually builds morale and boys actually, you know, find find to get up each other and, and get each other up and with the positives and going into this weekend. How frustrating is the time being for you having to wait yeah. to make your day because obviously you broke your arm in the summer. Yeah, it's like uh, like any other rugby player, it's frustrating. The frustrating part of playing rugby is all the injuries and that's part of footy and that's you know, part and parcel of what playing rugby is all about. And, you know, it's gone now, like the, the three months went just like that. And now I'm actually really looking forward to, um, you know, doing my bit and playing my part in the team. And, yeah. And while you were waiting, I mean, have you been actually able to get yourself better prepared than perhaps you might have been? Because obviously you can study team plans and you can, you know, work on the fitness in your legs and things yeah. like that. Yeah, I have actually. It's probably the first time in my career I've actually lost a lot of weight. And I'm actually at a, at a weight now where where I can feel like I can be more mobile, more effective around the around the around the, the pitch, and within my role too, with uh, as a hooker being dynamic at the the scrum time and also being real efficient at, at uh, line out, I think it's really helped me, especially over here in Gloucester. Um, the boys are some pretty big boys here, and they play a real physical game, and I kind of think I'm in the in the right nick to actually play the game. How much did you know about Gloucester before you came here? I mean, obviously you know Jeremy Thrush. To be honest with you, I, when I when I first uh, heard of Gloucester, you know, I didn't really know much much about it. Uh, as soon as I jumped onto uh, the net, did my studies, all that came up about Gloucester was the shed. And then, I could you not, everyone has talked about the shed. And and now being here and actually witnessing it myself, I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe how passionate the fans are. Uh, can't I just I just can't put any words to it. You know, they they so they show so much passion. And I think, as a player, that's you can't ask for anymore. Like those people out there in the shed all weekend, they probably would just do do just what I do, is just wearing the jersey and being out of the field.